Hey everyone, here's a quick tutorial. Uh, someone in the community was asking how to create a smooth sort of path movement for an object. That's not really what Spriter was made for. It was made more for animating objects and um, uh, like creating like walking and idle animations and stuff like that for objects, not so much for moving entire objects along a path. But if you have a simple object or um, uh, yeah, like an image that you want to move around on a curved path and you want the curve to be smooth, uh, obviously one thing you could do, which would be very time consuming and the results would not be great, would be to just use the image itself, drag it out there, and then make a lot of keyframes to try to move it how you would want. Obviously, uh, unless you really have an insane amount of keyframes, the movement won't be all that um, all that smooth. So the other option is to make sure you're at the first frame. You've dragged out the image you're going to be manipulating, and I uh, it makes sense to put the vanish the um, default pivot point in the center, which is by double clicking the image before you drag it out there. Double click on the image and either use this or hand left click and drag but you can just use this to do it quickly for the center so once that's done I'm going to make sure this is on create bone for alt plus click and now I'm going to hold alt and left click and drag upward okay so now I'm going to select this bone and hold B the B key I'm keeping it held down and I click on this image and if I did it right, now you'll see when I rotate the bone, the image moves with it. That's what we want. However, let's just say we want the image to stay always perfectly upright. What we can do, since the um, image is a child of the bone, if we right-click on the image and keep that right mouse button held down, this inheritance appears and we can turn off the inheritance of angle. So now when we rotate the bone, the image stays upright. It keeps its original angle. So now that we have the bone, what we can do, let's say we want, during the course of the entire animation, we want the bone to move from here to here. So the linear movement uh, is like this, okay? But now, we're going to add the curve part of the movement. So let's go to the halfway point and we'll say by the halfway point it should have rotated uh, counterclockwise down to that degree. So you can see it's got a nice smooth curve to that point and then it's going to start going backwards to get there. But we can fix that by going... Uh, maybe this will work, let's see. No, nope, it just made it rotate the other way. So, go back to this frame. All right, so we're going to go to the halfway point here, and we'll just fix that angle so it's rotating the right way on the way back. So now you've got this smooth curve. As it makes its linear path, it's also making a curved uh, arc movement. So that's how you can get a smooth arcing path. And the other thing you can do, you can get creative with um, also the length of the bone. And again, if we right click on the image, we can turn off scale inheritance as well. So while this bone is moving, we can also scale the bone. And since I turn off the scale inheritance, the image is staying the same size. And now you can see we're changing the uh, sort of arc trajectory of the image and then, of course, it's not going to be right here. We would want to get rid of that in-between frame. Go halfway. Rotate that bone again. There we go. So that gives you a, a shorter arc path as it's going. And if you needed to, you could even create a, yourself a guide image to drag in as a sprite in the background that would have the path movement that you want drawn out and then you can um, 
do this bone manipulation and make sure on all of your keyframes the image is in the right place and the, let the bone handle the um, the arcing aspect of the movement and just rotate and scale the bone to get your movement the way you want it. So that's uh, that's the best workaround for creating curved movement paths. But anyway, so that's about it. I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.